Hello guys and welcome back to another video and I wish you all a happy new year and I hope you got well into the new year and had some awesome food and some parties with your friends I don't know I was at home and two of my good friends came and we ate and we played and we watched TV so a really chill it's a new year party because I'm not like a party people. But yeah, so it's 2018. Oh my god, it's like we are getting so much older. <laughs> In one week, it's my birthday and I will be turning 21. Oh my god, and I have to start uni again. But that's depressing. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> but yeah, so it's the new month and I wasn't able to do this video before but it's the time for my monthly K-pop album collection update for December and I have a few piles here I got a few presents from my friend on New Year when she came that wasn't really planned but yeah we will start with the normal stuff and then we will move on to the things I got and we start with albums uh, and the albums that I got this month finally after such a long waiting time are my Love Yourself BTS albums after three months of waiting they finally arrived in December and yeah I'm really happy to have them and I'm really proud of BTS like performing on ABC's Rocking Eve. I hope that's the right name for that. I wanted to watch it, but you know, live stream doesn't work for somebody who lives outside of USA. So yeah, but I watched a clip of them after that. But yeah, really proud of them, but I hope they get some rest because the end of the year, I think it's almost always the stressful, stressful mo mo moment month because they have so many shows to attend and all this stuff and oh my god I, I, I think it was KBS Dejo Gajan I don't really know the name but oh my god the God's Heaven performance was so lovely and the general they had won the performance where they started off with Young Jay playing the piano oh my god I died inside and then they had the other performance where they had like a school uniforms and Jackson was finally there and I never thought I would miss him so much as I did because when they performed together again it was like yay he's finally back and it makes the group so complete but yeah I, I ramble too much again but yeah and the second thing I got this month was my arrival monograph that came finally and yeah I also did an unboxing for that so if you're interested check my channel out and I really really love the photos, it's really really gorgeous and I'm really really curious to see if they do the monograph thing for the other albums too but uh, we, I don't know about that so we will see and now we come to the small items I hope it will focus and this month I also got eh, of course not I also got this mini figurine. This is the Baby Gatun figurine, the Turbulence version. And of course, I got Jin Young. Yay! <laughs> so much money going out the window for that. And yeah, so we now we come to the things that my friend gifted me on New Year, New Year's Eve. And the thing is, she went to Korea, I told you, like for a month. And she went to almost every... Almost every week she went to several K-pop pre-recordings and shows and all this stuff, so... And she fell in love with SF9 and her birthday is at the end of this month, so... I'm normally in charge for getting the presents, so I will collect the money and I will buy stuff. And because she fell really in love with SF9, especially Suho, that's most of the stuff she was getting, but as I was like searching and like getting to know SF9 more, I decided on a bias and the thing is 
So she came on the 31th um, and she had her binder with her, a little one, and to show me. And because she went to so many K-pop recordings for SF9, she had so many like broadcasting cards. And I told her that that one is my bias and she was like, here, take those cards. And I was like, no, no, it's okay. But she gifted me three broadcasting cards. And I don't know if you know what broadcasting cards are, but when you go to any K-pop show like Music Bank and M Countdown and all this stuff, you get, it's, it doesn't matter which group you attend, but you get a broadcasting card as a gift that you attended or stuff like this. And those broadcasting cards are really expensive because normally there aren't so many places for the shows to get in, so the the highest chance you have to get in in your group is pre-recording because each group will have their own set of fans who can come in, so there is more room for the fans. But if you have like a live show, there is not so much room because each group has like has a set amount of group uh, fans that can come in because there's not so much rooms for the fans to stay in. So I was really happy. <laughs> these are, I think, these are the three sets of Knights of the Sun from O Solo Mio. And I have no clue which one is which, but this is the first one. This is the second one. And now my favorite. This one. Yay! So, as of nine broadcasting cards, you can normally find on eBay, so if you're interested in that, but yeah, I was really like, oh my god, because she's such a generous person and always like gives stuff away and all the things, but yeah, I was really happy because I bought some birthday presents for her, I will not go in detail because she will maybe see this, and I saw this picture of this guy and I found out that he's Taiwan and that he's my bias and I was like, yes, you are mine. But I, I'm not really thinking about collecting him, I don't know. <laughs> but we will see. And another present she got me. And these are like fan-made or like, I don't know, cards. But these are transparent BTS cards and they are so beautiful. They are from the Love Yourself era. Oopsie doopsie, there got something. But they are so gorgeous. Oh, don't fall. And oh my god, I was so happy that she gifted me that because I had to give her my um, my uh, Secret Santa gifts because my package got cust stuck in customs. And yeah, so it wasn't there in time, but I gifted her one SF9 album and a VAP album, so we exchanged gifts, it was really nice, and yeah, so this is all I got for this month. Next month I hope will be more, because I'm waiting for my Day 6 albums, for my GOT7 albums, for my season screening from BTS, and yeah. I wish you all a happy new year, and I hope that your dreams and hopes will go true, and if the last year wasn't so nice for you, that you can shake it off and start fresh. And if the last year was good for you, that you can bring the luck in the new year. And yeah, the K-pop world game will start on again. We will. S I'm really excited to see all the new groups because I think there are some exciting groups coming. One on one will disband I think this year so that's sad but I'm excited to see what new groups will form out of 101 because they are still Chinese under their like um, labels and we will see but this video is too long so <laughs> I hope you like this video don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you in my next video bye